They are all lying that subsidy is not good for the Nigerian economy. Each time they remove subsidy, the Nigerian economy enters into a recession. Do you know why? 80% of the Nigerian economy system is run by you and me, the informal sector. The moment there's a dislocation that destroys our ability to run our small, small businesses, it, millions of people lose jobs. There is something new about those who are importing fuel. They are importing substandard fuel into the country that is burnt faster than the normal fuel. That is what they want to do. And I'm sure, apart from the fact that it evaporates faster, it's also destroying your engine. So, you're automatically going to enter into recession. I watched an interview by a former governor of Baoshi State, Isha Yuguda. I call him Isha Jaguda. He said it, that there is one person who was involved in subsidy scam. That the man came, this, I'm quoting him verbatim, and called the president and said, Mr. President, I'm tired of stealing. Remove subsidy. If I'm the president of Nigeria, you tell me you are tired of stealing, you will take me to where you are stealing. You cannot leave, oh. you are going to sleep in the police station that night. And the police must take you, the DS, everybody will take you to one show where you are, how much you are stealing. How can somebody come to the president's office and tell the president that he's tired of stealing? And you let him go. Uh, I think it was Shio Sonny. In, you know, he has become a comedian now. I don't know why they didn't invite him here. You know, I like him. <laughs> he's my very good friend. When uh, Tinubu came and he was doing all the gara gara, he said everybody was running away. Everybody's hiding. I said they are just playing. And he, he wrote a very interesting, uh, comical but true uh, comment on Twitter. He said, if you people are running away from Tinubu, what would you have done if Mr. Oreda became the president of Nigeria? We're not going to be vindictive, but we would have made sure that the country worked for the Nigerian people. Around us here, there are not less than 10,000 houses in this Abuja metropolis that is not occupied by anybody. And then everybody else is homeless. And the, the houses that are built with your money, you can't live in them. At the minimum, we'll make sure that we force those houses open and rent it out to people who need. And then you can collect your rent. Since Tinubu came to office, how many times have you seen Nigerians meeting with him? He's always meeting with oil company executives from abroad. People of France. Yes, everybody comes from abroad to come and meet with him, as if Nigeria is a country that's not meant for Nigerians. No need to lose focus. I will say one thing, which is very important, and reason we must remain who we are. This Tinubu government will make it so easy to let a revolution happen in Nigeria. You'll be surprised. Because, yes, I'm serious. Because it's as if it's a blessing in disguise for a revolutionary Nigeria. He will be moving from mistake to mistake to the point that the people will have no option than to join hands and push all of them out. You can go and quote me anywhere.